question and answers. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you want to ask questions or? Huh? Continue? Or you ask questions? Anybody have questions so far? Huh? Any, or you want me to continue? All right, I'm going to continue. There's no question. Okay, I'm going to help you out a little bit. Uh, some of the brothers, uh, we have difficulties in answering some of the questions. The Christian will come to you. Um, I, was giving, I was giving a talk in Michigan State University. And Michigan State University is one of the biggest universities in America. Huge, very big. They call that place the Bible Belt. Because every two blocks is a church. Every two blocks, church. It's all church all over the place. And 90% of those who go to school there, most of them are Christians. They have two radio stations in the campus. So they are always hampering on the Muslim. They give it the Muslim tough time. You infidel, you this, you that. They call the Muslim. So the uh, MSA chapter, they send me a letter. It's called SOS, Save Our Soul. They say, Sheikh, we want you to come. Come on Friday, do Salat with us. Saturday, Sunday, you do program. I say, Inshallah, I'll be there. But on one condition only, I want you to raise money go on the fm and tell all the people in michigan let them hear that okay a christian um, a muslim evangelist is coming to town and let the priests and pastors come and let them bring their bible also that's all what i need and mashallah they did and they they, they went on air they pay and they so before i came they were laughing <laughs> which muslim priest <laughs> you know how arrogant they're just laughing at me Pff, what is he gonna do Pff, like he's gonna please like that so I came. When I came, I was sitting like this, like this. So they look at me like, ah, man, what is he going to tell us? And this, you know, the pastor, you know how they sit across their legs like, like what? You know, like that. So <laughs> they look at me like, what am I going to do? I was going to say, I word. I say, okay. <clears throat> After I finish, I start, I say, look, before I begin my talks, with all due respect, I don't know how many pastors are here, but I can feel it that we have a lot of pastors and, 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 and you know, reverence here. If there's any pastor here or any Christian who can show me the word Bible in the Bible, I will become a Christian tonight. It's the first question. I say, any pastor can open your Bible, any Bible, and show me the word B I B L E. Show me the Bible in the Bible. Wallahi, I will become a Christian. They will look at me as comparing notes and Nah. Somebody say, yeah, I say what? He said, holy, I say, I didn't say it in the cover, inside. <laughs> I said, like, you could write into it in the cover, fine. But the Bible, did you say my name is the Bible? The Bible never say my name is the Bible. I came from God. Not even once mentioned. So the question is, let's look at the Quran. Did the Quran mention its name? The Quran said, Ar Rahman. Adlam al Quran. Yasin wal Quran al Hakim. Wa makan haz al Quran an yuftara min dun Allah. Tanzil al min Rabbil Alamin. Afala tadabaroon al Quran. In haz al Quran, the Quran mentioned itself 57 times in the Quran. Tanzil al min Rabbil Alamin. It tells me I came from the Lord of the Worlds. The Bible never say my name is the Bible. I came from God. You see where the problem lies. That is why I begin my talks. So I set up a pandemonium in the crowd. They were like comparing notes. Like, man, this guy is trying to expose us, man. What's going on? So some of the Christians, they were exposed. They don't know that the Bible is not the Bible. I said, okay, let me give you the history. You know where the Bible came from? The Bible is it, it's a Greek word. Today, wallahi, today, if you go to Greece, in, in Europe, you enter any bookshop, and you say to the, uh, to the book attendant, excuse me, sir, I want to buy a Bible. Wallahi. He'll be looking at you like, what's wrong with you? What do you, what do you mean Bible? Because in his language, in the Greek language, Bible means book. That's it. Bible means book. So if you say you want to buy a Bible in Greece, what are you talking about? He will ask you which Bible? The Bible of mechanic, the Bible of cooking, the Bible of physics. Which Bible are you talking about? Because Bible means book in my language. They are the holy proper now to make it holy Bible. But the Bible didn't say man is the Bible and I came from God. I said, okay, put that aside. So the Muslims, they were few in the crowd. 
They can't even say takbir. So I hear a takbir. <laughs> a little bit, man. <laughs> because they are afraid to say takbir. You know how we do it here. Eighty percent Christian and few Muslim. You got a takbir in, in the midst of them. It cause trouble, man. So some guy get a takbir. A little bit. I kind of hear his friend. I say, "No, Akbar." I said that loud because I'm not afraid. No, I'm not afraid. It has meaning. I will explain its meaning to you if you try. You know, so because they think takbir, Allah Akbar. They think it's like, oh, we're gonna kill them. That's what they think. Now what about oh my, he's coming he got something to do. you know they think like that negatively you have to remove that misconception out of their mind next time i will speak on misconceptions in islam and i'll give you about maybe 20 or 30 misconceptions you begin to wonder why they think like that so i said let's put that aside i said can anybody here in the crowd before i i didn't even start my talks show me the name of christ Anybody who can show me the name of Christ in the Bible, I will become a Christian. You know, all of them, they go like this. I say, what? Say, Jesus, say, put your hands down. That's not his name. The other guy said, Messiah. I said, no, his name is not Messiah. The other guy said, Emmanuel. I said, no, nobody ever called him Emmanuel. That's not his name. The pastor were looking at me like, wow, they, they were froze. The guy said, Jesus, Jesus Christ. What do you mean, Jesus Christ? Are you trying to make him believe that like it's true? That's not his name. I said, what was the name given to him by his mother when he was born in the stable? What was the name? Wallahi, they don't know. I said, when he was born, the name given to him by his mother was Yeheshua. Yeheshua is a long Jewish common name. Like you said, Benjamin. But the Yeshua is too long, so they shot it. They call him Esau. As he walked in Jerusalem, his name was Esau. Like Benjamin, we say Ben. Robert, we say Bob. William, we say Bill. Yeshua, we say Esau. So his name was Esau. He's walking, he said, Esau. Shalom Aleikum. Aleikum Shalom. Esau. How do you say, how do you call him? Esau, 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 Esau. It rhymes. That is his name. In Hebrew, Esau. In Arabic, it's Esau. His name. Not Jesus. Why? Because in the Hebrew language, it, the, the Jewish language does not have J in their language, in their syllables. There's no J in the Hebrew language at all. So why did they add J in front of Isa? Isa, Isa. Take off the J. How would you call him? Isa, 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 Isa. But they don't want their God to have a Jewish name. So they took off the Y and they replaced it with the J. They Latinized the name to make him look like European. The J represents the European form of God. J. Jo, Joseph, take away the J. Usuf. Benjamin Netanyahu, may Allah's la'ana be upon him. Take away the J. How would you call him? Benjamin, Benjamin, it's not Benjamin. There's no J in the Hebrew language. So they were looking at me. I said, put that aside. I said, now, if there is anyone again, this will be my last, if there is anyone here in the audience, not the people, but the pastors, if you can show me the word Christianity in any version of the Bible, wallahi, if there is any swimming pool, I don't mind to dip in and come out baptized. I'll do that for you. Show me the word Christianity one in your book. I will become a Christian. Wallahi, it's not there. I saw them. Then a pastor I said, what do you want? He said, I saw one. I said, what? What did he say? He said, Christian. I said, I didn't say Christian. Show me the word Christianity, not Christian. Aren't you English, man? He said, yes, I am. So, well, I ask you for Christianity. You show me Christian. The word Christianity is not in the Bible. But the word Christian is mentioned in three places. Acts 11, 26. Acts 26, 28. 1 Peter 4, 11. That's where it's mentioned. Only three places. But who first called the followers of Christ Christian? Who first called them? Pagans. The pagans, the mushrik. They gave them the name Christian. 
Because in the book of Acts 11.26, it says, And the disciples of Christ were first called Christians in Antwerp by the pagans. Like today, like before, you know, African-American, how do they call them? Nigger. It's a horrible word. It's not good. With spite, nigger. You know, that word is, is, is not good. But they use it so much today. The black American today. Say, yo, what's up? What's up, man? Hey, what's up, nigga? How you doing, man? What's going on? Yo, nigga, what's going on, man? I'm going to let you know real quick, but you're dealing with the wrong nigga, man. What can I say? Yeah, we got, we got a lot of niggas around. See, the black man, they abuse him so much with that name, nigga. Now we say, yeah, I'm a nigga. The same thing, Christianity. The pagans, if they see those who follow Christ, they say, hey, Christian, Christian, hey, you Christian? Hey. It was an insult in Antwerp. Well, lie, it was an insult to follow Christ. You Christian, like Buddhism, Buddha, Hinduism, Hindu, Christianity, Christ. So the pagans were calling the followers of Christ Christians, and they were like afraid, but they used the name so much, so much, now they say, yeah, we are Christians, but God did not say that. So look at Islam. 